this is Natalie the Vintage Cross Stitch Niche bringing you another video. Ah, I was going to do a one of those videos that's a tutorial for the making the ornaments and I didn't like the way it came out. The lighting wasn't good because I did it in the dining room and that's sort of muted lighting. And there's great tutorials out there. So I posted something on the page this morning in my and I did ask what do people want to see in a video and everybody seemed to say Christmas so today our video is going to be about well mostly about Christmas now as you can see I'm surrounded by Christmas finishes and one Halloween finish which I'll show you but I'm completely surrounded by these Christmas finishes. And, uh, you know, we're gonna, here's what we're gonna do today. I'm going to show you what I'm currently working on, which is actually Thanksgiving. And then I'm going to show you some new items. So I'm on a diet in terms of new items. I am not going to buy any more new items. Well, I guess I'll buy a few, but they're going to be very limited. And I'll show you my Christmas finishes that I have available to show you. Oh, there's one over there I didn't even grab. I'll grab that. And I'll show you what I have kitted up and ready to go. I have some Christmas whips. So if you're a Christmas stitching lover like I am, you'll enjoy today's video. So let's begin. I always begin with what I'm working on. What I'm currently working on is by Not Forgotten Farm. It's called Tom. Thomas. I don't have the picture. I must have left it in the other room, but I'm, I'm, I'm three quarters done with it, so I'll show you what I've done. So this is called Thomas by Not Forgotten Farm. And yes, it is a conversion. I have been converting as I go. So what I'm doing is every time I need to use a new DMC color, and I had pulled DMC for this, I go over to my stash and I exchange it out for another color. So, so far I think about, uh, I don't know, maybe 80% of them I have changed over. And uh, I love the way it's coming out. I love the color. I love everything about this. This is my own linen. This is some of the sampler linen. I'm not making much linen right now. I'm busy with work. I just don't have time. I do make linen uh, custom ordered. So people will contact me and say, hey, I want a quarter yard of this or a half yard of that. And I'm very happy to make it. I do have a little stash of linen that I can, uh, that I can uh, dye. It's just plain old linen. Most of it's Weigart right now because Weigart clearly comes out the best and this is his Weigart piece. As you can tell, I'm working him on his side and I do flip him over just to make it easier to work on. Nothing wrong with working a piece on his side, but ultimately he will be framed I saw this framed with a real rustic looking thick frame. Uh, somebody posted it on my page and it's awesome. So I can't wait to finish this. This will be finished by the end of the week for sure. I mean, the majority, the bulk of it was him. I have the most of the feathers to do, but he's coming out great. Just a quick peek at the chart. There you go. <laughs> I left the picture in the other room, but that's okay. So this is my current whip. I did start something else. Remember this box, this French friend stitch box? I never started it because I missed, missed the, 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 uh, the actual friend stitch. Well, this is by Bent Creek. And here are, here's part of it anyway. Here's the part that I started. 
And there's also a little Christmas tree, a Christmas tree 3D that you can make in an ornament, but I'm working on these. And I decided to do them all on one, one piece. This is the, the linen it came for. Uh, it is Zweigart for sure. Not Zweigart, excuse me, Weeks. And I'm not sure of the color, it's a gray. These are the beautiful threads, the floss it came with. So pretty. And uh, as soon as I'm done with Tom, I'm going to go on to this. I really do want to finish this. Uh, doing these both together on one piece, it's going to be interesting. I don't know if... I'm just going to put them side by side. Probably that's what I'm going to do. Or if I'll just do one border around the whole thing. I haven't decided yet. I haven't started very much. <laughs> That's it. Not very much. But this was a lot of money for, uh, for this project. And uh, I missed it. I was really upset. But it is what it is. I, I caught a little piece of it. So that's what I'm currently working on. Let me show you the new stuff. Uh, Okay, let me get it. I I have this blocked. I'll be right back. Box here of whips. So what happened is I couldn't get through because the box is... Never mind. I'll show you some new stuff. I got this from Kitten Stitcher. And I, I did get one of her notebooks. I think it was $8.95. I don't know, $10.95. I love them. These are all extra design linens. Being a linen lover, this is up my alley. Uh, maybe I'm going to inventory what I have. <laughs> Excuse me. So that's kind of cool. I did get a chart because, you know, you're going to pay for shipping for something. You might as well. <laughs> that's the philosophy. I've been looking at this forever. It's called Anne Rudolph by La Di Da. Isn't that nice? And it's going to be done in black. I don't know what called for is. It was stitched on mocha linen using needlepoint silk. It doesn't say what is the needlepoint silk. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's a black one. I just ordered a black, antique black. It's hard to find blacks right now. There seems to be a shortage of black, a black floss. But I did get this antique black silk. I have some dark, darker linen that I've dyed, or I'll just take a piece out of my stash. I don't know what. This is a quick, quick, quick stitch. So that'll be started. That is brand new to me. What else is brand new? Well, this is this is not brand new. I just wanted to show you. I have this beautiful, beautiful sampler chart by GGR called the Beatemeyer Sampler. I mean, it's magnificent. All uh, the call for our DMC, and I just wanted to show you that I completely completely uh, did a conversion. So I showed you this last time, so I'm not going to show you this again. I think there's some stuff in here I showed you last time. I will spare you. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did not show you these, so let's go through these. I featured this designer as designer of the day on my Facebook page. And uh, the name of the designer, what is the name of the designer? I'll tell you in a minute. Isn't that sad? I forgot the name of the designer. You think it would be written. I thought it was written on her, on her downloads. Isn't that weird? I think it would be. 
like I said, I'm going to get better organized. Let's see, purchases. I bought these on Etsy, of course, because she has an Etsy store. Prim Stitcher Shop. That is her name, the Prim Stitcher Shop. She doesn't have any other name. Okay, so I bought three, three or four of them, we'll see. This one is called It's a Wonderful Life. I printed these out, by the way. Isn't that fabulous? Bedford Falls. I love It's a Wonderful Life. It's one of my favorite movies, so right up my alley. Then we have God Bless Us Everyone. There's actually two charts. These are quick stitches as well. All of these are smalls. To make little pillows and bowl fillers. And then the third one, well, actually, yeah, the third one is through winter snow and summer rain, everlasting green, your bows remain. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how beautiful are your branches? So, oh, Christmas tree, isn't that lovely? That linen looks like something I've made. It looks like my striped linen. It looks very much like my striped linen, so I could make linen for this very easily. And the fourth one was I heard the bells on Christmas Day. A Casting Crown sings this, and it, it, it's a song that almost brings me to tears, so when I saw that there was a, a chart, I just had to get it. I heard the bells on Christmas Day, their old familiar carols plays, play of peace on earth and goodwill to men. Prim Stitcher Shop on Etsy. I purchased these downloads. They weren't very expensive. I will tell you exactly. They're three, four, three bucks. This was $7.50. Anywhere from three to seven dollars. I mean, that's pretty inexpensive. You can print them out at home pretty easily. And that's awfully nice. Also from Kitten Stitcher, she has something that she's calling rare finds or whatever on her website. I got this, uh, the exemplary box, box, unopened box of a 1776 sewing roll. It, it, it's amazing. This was around $60, but it comes with everything you need. Uh, these aren't made anymore, so she, she got a lot of these. I'm going to unbox this with you. How fun, right? Doing the unboxing. I think she had more than one of these. I think she had... And how do I know this? Because after I bought it, there was it, it said still for sale, which means she might have one more or two more. I don't know. Let's see what you get for $60, $60 $65, something like that. And it didn't cost me anything to ship it because it shipped along with that little notebook that I wanted. Okay. This is hermetically sealed. Uh, this could be a long video today because I have a lot of Christmas. So we'll see. This is not Christmas, but it is new. So. We have unboxed. Oh, and by the way, this is the scissor that I like for, I kept this out for making the uh, ornaments and cutting, cutting really close. It's a heavy, heavier duty scissor, but it's small enough to get around areas and really cut easily. It's made by Ulfa. I've never had an issue with Ulfa product. They're great. And this scissor is sharp as can be and just awesome. I got it at Michael's with a 40% off coupon. So wasn't too expensive. Can we open this without damaging the box? Yeah. Oh, this, I don't know when this was made. I don't know what date, but I know it's not made anymore by the exemplary, which had an address of Dearborn, Michigan. It says Winter Third, which is a museum adaptation. Oh, smells fresh. And you know this is old because it's a hand done chart, not one of those machine, machine done charts. It's all hand done in multiple pages. There's 
type typewritten instructions, finishing instructions, a pattern. Let's see what you get. So you get the pattern, instructions, a bunch of pieces of this. It looks like you make this in pieces. This is just a like a a uh, cream colored linen. It feels like white shell. But it's nice, easy. You get a bunch of floss. Um, this is silk. Yes, a bunch of beautiful silk floss. Is it silk? Yeah. You get a bunch of silk floss. Just the floss to buy all this floss would be expensive. Beautiful colors. This must go on your finished piece. And then there's some sort of trim. So once again, 1776 sewing roll from the, it says here, our sewing roll has been adapted from the textile collection of Winterthur Museum. Dated 1776, this piece is composed of four individually embroidered pockets with a quaint motif worked on the reverse side. Under the lower flap, a piece of blue wool is provided to hold your needle. It's entirely worked in cross stitch and 35 count eggshell linen. So fabulous for $60. This would make an unbelievable gift for your sampler lover friend. Ooh caught in here and you just saw the unboxing so that's fun okay what else did I get so help me I'm not buying anything else so help me okay. um somebody on stash unload was selling some of these small little kits which I purchased this one is by Prairie Grove Peddler a little prairie pack, chart daisies. Isn't that cute? Wasn't very expensive and it comes with everything. Just to make a little small. So I have a, a, a wall. It's just a thin area of wall where I put little itty bitty smalls. This is a Chris, uh, Christmas motif sampler uh, by JBW Designs. What intrigued me about this, this can make a beautiful ornament. I'm going to make an ornament out of this. Is this Graziano linen? I've never worked on Graziano linen. It's expensive for whatever reason. And then it came with some Belsois silk. I mean, I think this was like seven bucks, so I was very happy to find it. Uh, also from this, the same person is a Macintosh sampler, not made anymore. Complete kit, wasn't very expensive. This is the Maria Waterer Sampler, uh, an English sampler. When I'll do this, I don't know. Fully charted, I'm sorry, fully kitted with DMC and a cream linen. So that's new. This is Emmanuel. It's by Praiseworthy Stitches, a wonderful star. I'm in love with this. I don't know if I showed you this before. It was in my new pile. Either way, it's going in my Christmas pile. I think this is unbelievable. This is going to be a whip soon, even though I have a ton of other stuff to do. I'm so in love with this star. How many star-shaped samplers do you see? None. Uh, and... This was done on, stitched on 32 count golden needles by White Shell. I don't know. And then uh, Gentle Arts and Weeks Floss. I'm going to go through my floss and see what I have. Uh, I, this is unbelievably beautiful. Okay. Then. This is something special from the Quilter Station. There's a Stacy Nash, a Stacy Nash stitch along. Like I need a stitch along, but there's a Stacy Nash stitch along. It comes in three parts, and I have got the first part. First off, 
look how beautiful this is packaged. Just beautifully packaged. I love when things come like this. And what does this come with? An absolute ton of Weeks Dye Works, Dye Works Floss. I haven't put this on a ring yet. But an absolute ton of it. <laughs> I'm just going to grab it. So it comes with all this floss. Beautiful colors, huh? I love Stacy Nash. I just, just really love her stuff. It comes with this really nice big piece of... This is definitely Weeks Dye Works linen. I don't know what color this is. I will tell you when I look at the chart, but it's beautiful color. Just gorgeous piece of linen. It feels like the original, not the Zweigart, but I like the original. I didn't in the past, but now I do. Comes with a Stacy Nash beeswax, ma beeswax made by Taylor Nash. Let's see what this one looks like. Will I start this when they're doing the stitch along? I don't know. But it comes with this beautiful waxer. Let's put this back in that. That little clever bag. Uh, a needle. <laughs> a needle. And part one of the part one of the sampler. It's called Maria Higginson. So that's only one part of the sampler. Um, what part of the sampler is it, actually? I have not opened this yet, so let's look. It can't be that piece, so it doesn't make any sense. It gives you stitch counts, by the way, 228 by 233. It says 36 count linen, and it doesn't say what color that is, but it's definitely Weeks linen. And, oh, this isn't that much. Okay, so... You're getting the top part of the sampler, so the what we've gotten is that, actually, the words. So sort of the top piece. It must be three strips, top, middle, and bottom, that you're getting. Or something like that. You don't want your sampler to look like you stitched it in three pieces, so I'm sure she did it with some thought to make sure that things are are done right. There's not that much stitching here. I could start this. This is this is good. So anyway, that's it. Um, this is sold out. Can't buy it anymore. If anybody wants to know the price, which was a lot, I don't know. It was one of those should I, shouldn't I? All right, what the heck. So, um, but you can go on the Facebook page, which is, uh, Called homespun samplers. Okay. So that is part of the stitch along. Then I did something different. I actually uh, wanted to buy some wool applique. I've done wool applique, as most of you know. Um, my, well, quite a few of my ornaments are wool applique but I did the, the pillow, Jack. So I bought some wool applique. I got this little Florida one. Just beautiful. I would only buy these kitted up. I really don't want to deal with uh, looking for, you know, just getting a pattern and starting to, starting to collect wool. I don't feel like having a wool collection like my fabric. So this came with just beautiful, fabrics and a background, as you can see, just beautiful wools. From Triple R Mercantile on Etsy. Uh, that one came with a free pattern, a pincushion pattern, actually. And then this is from Penny Lane Primitives. I, I did want to do a something for my 
for a, a candle to put it on because I have candles and I like to put something underneath and this is called cheerful chickadees it's a candle mat and it also has a coaster that comes with it complete kit Uh, this has got the nice little chickadees. It's sort of winter. It's not quite Christmas, which I wanted. And once again, it comes with just all this wool. And of course, your pattern. So how do you make these? Well, you have to... It comes with, just to show you, these patterns. And there are complete instructions how to make them does not come with floss. It says pre-wash and dry fabrics before cutting. Uh, wool felt has a very nice bumpy texture after drying. I wash mine by hand in hot water, cold rinse. I've never done this actually. I didn't do this before, but I'm going to do that. And then it, it goes, it goes three strands of floor, floss for a pleak. Transfer all pattern templates onto the dull side of your freezer paper. I mean, there are detailed instructions how to do this. So when I get tired one day of cross-stitching, I'm going to do this. I didn't know you had to pre-wash these. I, I suppose you really don't, but I'd like to try it just to see if there's a difference. So I did buy those, and those aren't cross-stitch because I'm not buying any more cross-stitch, nor am I buying any more appliques, just for that matter. Okay. And then, just to show you, uh, on, one, on one of the Stash Unload pages, I found a very rare R&R linen. This one's called Breast Cancer uh, Pink. It is 30 count, 27 by 28 piece, so a humongous piece. And it is one of the nicest pinks I have ever seen. There you go. It's really variegated. It is just beautiful. It's called Breast Cancer Pink nice big piece of it. I I have seen samplers on pink and I love it so I can't wait to this I, I think this would be perfect for certain sampler. It is not bright and it's not boring either. It's just a beautiful pink and it's got a lot of variegation with white. Um, Lakeside has a, a rose color. This is nicer. This is nicer, so very pleased. I wasn't sure about, about it, and I love rare colors of R&R. &R. They've made quite a few colors that you, uh, you won't see again. And finally, this is the coolest thing ever. This is a library card la label pack by Lori Holt of Bee In My Bonnet. All right, so this is Super, super cool. I cannot wait to start putting these on the back of my, along with the stickers, like I said, I'm going to get to it, putting these on the back of my, um, of my finishes. So you get the, the holder, and then you get the library card that goes inside the holder. Do you guys remember library cards, or am I just a dinosaur? They're the coolest thing ever. I love them. Takes me back to my childhood. Now, this is the first time I'm opening them. There's nothing to stick them on. It says label. So these must be, how are they labels? It said label. Let's see. Now I gotta look. It says here, 12 acid-free cards and envelopes to label your cross-stitch pieces. <laughs> okay, they're not labels. I thought they'd have a label on the back. That would be better for me. But instead, you're going to have to use two-sided tape or something just to put it on. But these are the coolest thing ever. So I just found out they're not labels. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I love them. I found these on Etsy. Library cards and pockets. I'm going to look for more because these are fabulous. Now my finish, latest finish. This is a Hall Halloween night. Is such a fright. <laughs> this is by uh, Teresa Kogut. 
and I did this one on Weeks Chartreuse and the black is mascara and I finished this myself just with a scrap of this really kind of cool looking uh, backing fabric. I put the, uh, I managed to finish with this wide rickrack around it and make a pillow. And the pillow actually came out fairly perfect. I'm very pleased. Even where I closed it, you can barely, you can see it sort of, but you can barely see it. Once again, it, my stuff always feels a little lumpy to me, but you know, I know that people sort of work at it. It took me an hour to stuff this because I kept pulling and pulling, but for whatever reason, I'm just not great at stuffing. Like this one feels so much better. Maybe it's, I have a big bag of stuffing. I'm thinking maybe there's something wrong with the stuffing I'm using. Any helpful hints would be appreciated. But this came out great. So this is a little late for Halloween. I finished this the day before Halloween, so I had it for Halloween. But this is going in my um, container of smalls, which is a big wooden, wooden display. I'd call it a dough bowl, but it's, it's uh, halfway in between a bowl and a caddy. It, doesn't, it looks like a big caddy. Well, I showed it to you. It doesn't have. It doesn't have a handle, though. So this was my finish. I was so proud of myself. I made this pillow. Some other finishes. Uh, another finish, which I'm pretty sure I didn't show you, is Merry Christmas by Luhu Stitches. This is actually called Christmas Snow People. Isn't that cute? And I did this finish myself. Pretty, right? Christmas Snow People. So now I've got a bunch of finishes. I also have this one, which you have not seen. This is just a motif I took out of one of the magazines at, out of a, it's not the full finish, just a motif. Uh, better hold it up for you. Isn't that cute? Vintage fabric on the back. So I've got a second ornament. The ornaments that I made before for the ornament exchange I actually have sent off. These are the ones I saved. Of course I've got this ornament. I showed it to you already. Love it. And then, like I said, I mailed off to the other two. I received my exchange. Isn't it pretty? This came all the way from the UK for me and hers is on the way to the UK. Isn't it pretty? So these will go in my tree. I have other ornaments just to let you know that are in a that are in my ornament box that are not out here. So these are just my new ones. So now this. I'm going to show you a bunch of Christmas finishes. Hopefully I can remember their names if I can. And then we're going to go on to the Christmas charts and kits that I have. Ooh, it's so fun to look through. I love it. This is Stacy Nash Letters to Santa. Everybody loves this one. I did not finish it. I would not never finish a pillow this big with a beautiful, you know, it's got a form in it with a nice um, zipper. Stacy Nash Letters to Santa. This is a, I believe, 20 count linen done with three strands and the called for in the call four colors. Love it, by Brenda Gervais, by Brenda Gervais. This pillow, and this pillow is by Calico Confectionery. It's just called Bah Humbug and a Merry Yule. On my own linen, the striped linen, that is antique, antique trim. This red is a beautiful red, isn't it? I don't remember what it is. I think it's cranberry, a cranberry red of some sort, but it's over dyed. And this is my own linen, as you can see, it's the other piece of it. These are both the same piece of linen, but because they're stitched with different colors, they look different, but actually this was a piece of linen cut in half. These are both by Calico Confectionery. Okay. 
This small finish is by Kathy Barrick. I believe it's called the Reindeer Sampler. Not traditional Christmas colors. It's got orange in it. I used, I actually did a conversion, but I used her colors. I just did a, a brighter, just a, a little, I used what I had. And this is my own linen as well. It has a touch of green in that linen. I made that on purpose. I blotched it with green. And this beautiful, this beautiful board is made by Teresa's Prim Treasures. She's on Etsy and she custom made for me. I'm just gonna go through these. Um, this is Hannah Carter. This is by Shakespeare Peddler. And look, I took a photocopy on the back and I said, on my own linen, Hannah Carter, okay? On my own striped linen. I think I did, I, I added a little dark green to the tree. I believe that's the only change. Uh, as I recall, this is done in Antique Black by Gloriana. This particular, I just have to show you the, the beading on this frame. It, it so made this pop, the framing. I love this piece. Love it. Okay. This is by Mary and Mary. This is uh, a really grunged up piece that I made. Too grunged up in my opinion. I did an over dyed conversion. And then mounted it. It came out a little wonky, but that's okay because almost all of these mounted old antiques look wonky, so I decided to keep it that way. Isn't it pretty? By Mary and Mary, I believe. What the heck is, is it Mary and Mary? Let's see. Let me see if I can find that information for you. Uh, Mary and Mary cross stitch. Let's see. Oh, I forgot already, but that's okay. What I'll do is I'll link it below. I'll look it up. I think it's Mary and... Oh, no, excuse me. Margaret and Margaret. Aha. Margaret and Margaret. It's not out of print. You can still find it. Let's go on. Let's go behind me. Oh, I don't want to drop any of these. This is a little Noel cat. Art Nouveau. This is by Art... Art art stitch. Actually this came as a kit so it actually came with that little that little bell. And this is done in, in DMC on I believe just an antique linen of some sort. I don't know the name of it. I did this like a long time ago. Just something really simple and pretty about it and I'm a cat lover. Just an Art Nouveau piece by Art Stitch. It is not out of print as well. You can also find copies of it on eBay for pretty inexpensive. It's just not a popular designer right now because they don't advertise. They don't have a Facebook page. They're just not out there. But they make some real beautiful Art Deco and Art Nouveau pieces. And this is that Art Nouveau. Love it. Okay. And by the Primitive Hair, this is Mary Krampus. This is the Primitive Hair Linen. I think it's, I don't know, her 35, 36 count, old New England. This is called for colors, and I'm pretty sure they're DMC. Mary Krampus. Uh, you're gonna have trouble finding this chart. However, if you email, if I sold it a long time ago. If you email the Primitive Hair, she probably will send you a PDF, uh, sell you a PDF of it, or you can look around. I, I'm pretty sure that this, this is one of our older charts. I'm pretty sure that it's not listed anywhere, but who knows, maybe. Okay. This is by Birds of a Feather. This was called a reindeer sampler. I have no idea, no idea what the, I think, I think I just used what I had or close to what she had. My own linen, 
old sampler linen, but a very grungy piece of it. In fact, this really is an old sampler linen. It's just a grungy piece of linen I made. Because old sampler, it doesn't look this variegated. But uh, this is out of print. I sold it a long time ago. This reindeer sampler, uh, good luck finding it. You will find it on eBay, uh, Etsy, maybe, maybe some of the stash on load sites. Uh, they get big bucks for these now. I was lucky enough to find mine on Kitten Stitcher on her uh, Dogs and Cats. Sometimes they have good stuff on the Dogs and Cats charity page, and I did find it. So, okay. Oh, scattered Sea. Scattered seed samplers. Uh, I don't know what it's called. I forgot, but isn't it beautiful? This is done on lakeside linen, and I did an over-dyed conversion and just used what I had. I think it's magnificent. Isn't it beautiful? The colors. This lakeside linen, I think, is lentil, I believe. Vintage lentil. It's like one of my, I just absolutely love, love that, um, that little sampler. This is by Carriage House Samplings, Christmas 1847. Uh, excuse me, by Scarlet House, and I want to show you, I actually put a label on this one. <laughs> Uh, this is Lakeside 36 Count Linen, I believe it's Vintage Sand Dune, done with Call For. And this is, it's, it's silks. So by Scarlet House, Lakeside Linen 36 Count Vintage Sand Dune. Pretty, right? And then, oh, let's take this one off the wall. I'm going to have to get back with you about what this is. I totally forgot. But it is still in print. I did this on my own linen. I dyed this linen, and I think these are called four colors on my own linen. Came out a little muted. I wish I used brighter colors because it's just the way it looks on my linen but it does look antique. I will put the names of all these below. I just forgot the name of this one. I love the little, I put these in. <laughs> a little embellishment because there was a space and I put my own name on it, but I will get back to you on which, which one this is. Okay, now on this side, this is by, I don't remember, but I think it's Stacy Nash, on my own linen called Merry Christmas. In fact, I know it's Stacy Nash. Christmas Pinkheat, that's what it's called. Christmas Pinkheat by Stacy Nash. I got this kitted up with and I did not use the linen it came with. I actually made my own for it. This is called Tea with Rudolph. Okay. This is by Hinzite. Isn't that cute? I don't remember the name of it. Isn't that great? That's vintage fabric. It's an old piece of a tablecloth. Or a runner, I think. Just loved it. This is by the Pin Keep. No, it's not by the Pin Keep. This is by, I forgot who it's by, but like I said, I'll put it down below. Molly Bean. This is stuff with walnut shells. This is so much easier for me to deal with than stuffing because it never, it comes out perfect. Isn't it cute? I did this on my own linen with whatever floss I had. <laughs> This is also, uh, this is by the Primitive Needle. This is way out of print. God bless us, everyone. I think it's the Primitive Needle. Is that what it's called? 
let's see, the primitive needle, uh, the prim, primitive needle. Uh, yeah, the primitive needle. By the primitive needle, God blesses everyone on my own linen. I double baked this one, meaning I, I just overdid it a little bit, made it look real antique, put rusty nails on here. And once again, this is made by Teresa's Prim, Primitive Treasures, Teresa's Prim Treasures, a custom-made board for this. This is way out of print. Um, they come up occasionally. Occasionally they come up for sale. You have to look. Okay. This is... Merry Christmas by The Drawn Thread. Something like Merry Christmas, I forgot the name, but it's by The Drawn Thread. This came as a kit, so these are the called for flosses. And this, I believe this is R&R &R Make. I believe it is. By The Drawn Thread, isn't it beautiful? I know it's silk, but it came as a kit. It's just perfect in every way. It's one of my favorite little things. Okay. This is by Needle Bling Designs. May you never be too old to search the skies on Christmas Eve. You know, I think it's my stuffing because I stuffed this and I did this at somebody else's house and, there, and it came out perfect. <laughs> I think I'm going to get new stuffing. Um, I just put the little rusty bells on it by Needle Bling Designs. I don't think this is out of print. You can find this. Isn't it great? Love this pillow. Uh, this is from one of the, uh, I don't remember the, the designer, but this is from one of the Prim Stitchers, Punch Needle and Prim Stitcher magazines. Like I said, I'll look it up and put it down below but it was a little little design in there winter's piece and it cute I did finish this and I stuffed it with walnut shelves this is vintage fabric on the back and yeah, this is nice cool looking red trim this is by Lucy Beam here lies the ghost of Christmas past this is on Extrude Designs Linen. I have this real antique little Christmas cup. That thing is old. It's sterling silver. I put that on there. This Lucy Beam little piece, this is actually uh, from A Christmas Carol. Here lies the ghost of Christmas past who came to a sticky end by a candle snuffer, December the 19th, 1843. I love this <laughs> okay this is one of my favorites uh, just to show you an oldie but a goodie I forgot who did this this is this is on Ada it's just an old finish of mine not very well done but it's like a little kit okay and this is by this pillow I've been asked this many times. This is by uh, Lone Elm Lane, called Alleluia. Uh, this is my own, my own fabric, and called for floss on my own fabric. Cross stitch cover did this finish. It's beautiful, isn't it? Just a beautiful finish. Exquisite, isn't it? It's one of my favorite. Pillows. Okay. Whew. As I look behind me, I'm going to show you this little guy. I bought him. He is a combination. Well, right now I'm using him as an ort little container, but I don't save my orts. I throw them out, but I've been throwing them in here. And a little scissor holder. And a pin cushion. And he sits on the corner of my couch. And look, he's even got his own little cross stitch. This is just awesome. 
Not sure why he has this piece here, what this is for. I'm going to have to look. And I got him on Etsy. Let's put him back up here. I got him on Etsy, and once again, the name of the Etsy seller is, I featured her on the page, the name of the Etsy seller is, is Little Red Hen Stitches. Let me see if she has any more of these for sale. They're all one of a kind. Oh, she only has two left. She has two of those guys left, and they're both Halloween. Oh, no, one's a snowman. I don't think you can see this, but Little Red Hen Stitches, unbelievable, it was not cheap, but I really wanted one. I mean, she put a lot of work into this. It's just done. I mean, it, it has a little non-stick pad here so he doesn't fall off. And doesn't he remind you of the old uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Like the, uh, the 1970s, 60s. Uh, clay people. <laughs> so he's now sitting on my other couch on the uh, on the armrest and uh, I'm in love with him. So that's a lot. But we have more because this is going to be the ultimate video. I'm going to show you everything I have in terms of whips and and um, charts and so forth that have to do with Christmas. It's quite a bit. That's why I'm not buying anymore. So let's go through this. This is a whip. That's why it's in a container. This is Stacy Nash 12 Days of Christmas sewing roll. I have it kitted up. That picture's got awful, isn't it? It's just not a good photo. I've seen this done and it's beautiful. I this is my own linen. Just to show you, I've done very little on this. Just that little, one of the little squares. But this is my own linen. It's gonna look beautiful when it's done. I don't know why I put it down, but it is a whip, which means I'm, I need to get back to it and finish it. It's not that much stitching, so. Where should we put stuff here? We'll throw it over there, okay. This is another whip that I really must finish. This one's called Come Let Us Adore Him, Christmas Joys Number 1 by Threads of Gold. I stopped this, and the only reason I stopped doing this, I have the call for, I have the call for fabric, is I didn't like the trim. Let me show you. I did not like the way this white was coming out on the bottom. So I think I'm just going to pull it out and just finish it otherwise and not do it with that. But as you can tell, I did quite a bit. It's, I don't really have much left to go. Let's see here. See? It's so beautiful. And this is called for, I love that purple, this is the called for silk. So I'm going to finish it. I, I just got into a quandary with this. I almost was going to restart it. In fact, I put this back in here. I, um, I pulled a piece of, uh, of 28 count linen to restart, just a, this is Glasgow ivory linen, but there's no reason I should restart that. I should just uh, finish it and pull out that white. I just don't like that white trim. It uh, just doesn't look right to me. Let me show you the whips. This, by the way, is in a uh, Lucy Bean bag. Isn't it fabulous? <laughs> Let's see what's in here. This uh, was the Scarlet Letter Mary Hutton. Uh, this is the one that I halfway finished and was uh, ran out of fabric because I started it on the bottom instead of the top. In other words, I didn't start in the middle and I ran out of room. It was a big rookie mistake. 
So I completely, let me show you what I did. I completely re-kitted it. And Teresa Vinette, Kitten Stitcher, did a conversion for me. It's completely re-kitted. And I pulled out 45 count woven sledge le uh, legacy linen to do it on. It's going to be fabulous. This has to be done this year because it, it, it's not a huge piece. It's not a huge piece, but it has to be done this year. I, I so kicked myself. So what did I do with the stitching that I did? I sent it off to um, Faye Rigsby, who's making it into a little pillow for me. I didn't wanted nothing to do with it. I was so mad. I said, can you just do something with this? And she said she would, so. This is, that's it for whips. The rest of these are unstarted pieces. I have to decide what I'm gonna do this year. What a mess. Okay, this is by the Good Hat Huswife. This is completely um, out of print. It's hard to find, and somebody sent it to me on the on my Facebook page. She did, she mailed it to me as a gift, which was incredibly nice. I rarely put something looking for something on there, and for whatever reason, this caught my eye. I saw a finish of it. I have the call for NPI silks. They're an interesting color of silk, and I think black is the way to go. This is 36 count onyx. I had some issue with black, but it's before I had my cataract surgery, so I'm thinking I'm going to give it a go. It's not a large piece. There's no border to it. It's beautiful, so it's on my priority list start a few things all together and just do a rotation which I've never done but there's so many things here that I really really want to want to start that maybe I'll try that this, I'm gonna put this in a different pile that's my urgent pile <laughs> this is a absolutely beautiful sampler called Ann Thompson Behold the Savior nailed to the cross. Is this really Christmas? Well, it's got, you tell me, it's got Christmas deer. It's magnificent. I, I love everything about the sampler. Everything. By the Scarlet House. And Thompson. And it came with a load of DMC. This came as a kit, an opened kit because somehow this is missing a chunk. Sort of annoyed me, I don't know. I, I'm, I never contacted the seller because I can live without doing the chunk. It came with this big, beautiful piece of scarlet letter, colored linen, uh, sand colored linen. It's beautiful. This thing's gonna be magnificent. Unstarted. Somebody bought this, opened it. What's interesting is that she sewed the outside so it didn't unravel. So somebody had every intention of starting it. All I can think of is the person that sold it. There must have been a label or somebody's name back here, so they ripped it out. I was, you know, but I'll never, this is out of print. It's an amazing sampler. I bid on it on eBay. I think this entire kit was 50 60 dollars but considering how rare this is and that it came with uh, the, the, the fat big piece of fabric and all that floss it, it was a very very fair price I was the only one to bid on it now no did nobody see it it's magnificent this is one I really want to start I don't know when but I love it I've had this for a long time this is Birds of a Feather, Santa Claus. This is not a big piece. It's fabulous. I've seen multiple people do it. Now, the call for is Sparrow, which is brown linen. It looks brown, but I, I saw people do this on black and I like it better. I found a dark gray, which I kitted this up with. 
what is it? Let's see. This is 18th century Blackbird. I think it's perfect. It's the perfect color. And I have this, all the colors. She uses a lot of very similar similar colors in her in her uh, pieces but it the colors are beautiful on that fabric so I can't wait to do this and it's not a big piece I should be able to do this no problem just throw this all in here I think this might be on this year's rotation I've had this a few years it's not it was out of print it's no longer out of print I believe I believe so, birds of a feather. I'd rather show you the kitted up stuff. This is going to take a few minutes, so just to let you know. These are some old kits, gra uh, cards. They're called Graffle Cards. They're by Jessa Needlecrafts, Westchester, PA. Of course, they're not made anymore. They're made in America. There, you make greeting cards with them. Aren't they cute? Partridge in a pear tree and a little elf. They come with Ada and Floss and the card. My thought was really not to make a card, but that these would just be such beautiful little ornaments. So I have these. These are like travel pieces when I go away. Okay making a mess today. This is Christmas Land by Raise the Roof Designs. I have this. I've seen it done. It's beautiful. I have all the called for floss. I do not have fabric for this. The It's not small. Um, 270 by 72. I guess it's not too bad. I have all the called for. It's done on vintage pearl barley, which I have. I suppose you can do this on any neutral linen, but it's real pretty. Uh, I don't have the charm that it came with, but I don't need it. Anyway, Christmas land. They have this hanging at the cross stitch cupboard. My next video from there will be focused on Christmas as well. And of course I can't get this back in, but we'll do that after. This is a really old one. This is called, um, this is the Jan Lynn Collector ser Series, Let Heaven and Nature Sing. I don't know if I'm ever going to do it. It comes with a pretty nice Ada and all the colors of floss you need. It's a very, very pretty little Christmas piece. I think there's back stitching in it. I don't know. It's unopened. I'm not 100% sure I'm ever going to get to this. I might, but it's really, really pretty. So I, this is a back burner piece. This was a little eBay find. This is a, a pillow, a ready-to-use pillow. Just needs a form. That's got, this is linen, beautiful linen. And it came as a kit. It's got... It doesn't, it's got Noel. I'm sorry, there, it did not come with the picture of the finished product, but you know it's gonna be a pretty little pillow. And the person who, she actually sent me a little card, the person I bought it from, it also has like a little, I guess this is the liner for it, so you stuff this and then you put it inside there. Such an easy little thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna separate this by by quickies and not quickies, but look how pretty that is. It's a beauty. Didn't pay very much for it, an eBay fine. I mean, I'm sure this was expensive if you went when it was first out. Here's another, another Threads of Gold. This Threads of Gold is called Christmas Sampler 3. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Isn't that magnificent? Just 
gorgeous. I have this kitted up. This is all the called four colors, including some gold. Uh, it's a combination of gentle arts and water lilies and look at the colors. I don't I don't have any fabric for it. It's got to be a light colored fabric. It's not a large. This is out of print by the way, but you can find them. It's not very big. Doesn't give you the stitch count at all here, but you'd have to count it, but it's it's beautiful. Nope. 91 by 191. It does have some it's mostly cross stitch with some Montenegrin stitch and queen stitch and there's some there's some uh, instructions on how to do that. I'm not big on that Montenegro Montenegrin stitch so I probably would just do cross stitch instead. Cinnamon stick Christmas And I bought this, this is uh, by Homespun Elegance, and the one I was going to do in here is this little guy. I've seen it done, it's very, very pretty. This chart is red, you can find it. It's got a lot of, a lot of nice things in it. This, also, this other one, look at the, look at the projects, they're all pretty. All, all pretty. And um, I don't have any, I have the floss for this, including some, I've got a bunch of floss. It's a combination of um, DMC and overdyed. And in fact, I do have some treasure braid as well. So I don't have any, I don't, I, don't, I didn't, uh, you can use any, any neutral linen for this would look very nice. Oh, I know. This is a long one. This is Santa Claus, a sampler by Calico Confectionery. I did not get any fabric for this. I just never decided on what I wanted. It's real pretty. It's not, it's all cross stitch. It's all one color. It'll go quick. And I did pick Turkish red just to show you. Just such a beautiful Christmassy red. I just never, uh, I'm thinking that, that a sparkly white, sparkly, Christmassy looking linen would look nice. So, I think I have something in my stash like that too. Charts I'm going to show you at the end. This is a little itty bitty kit by Little House Needleworks. This is called Pear Tree. It was a ornament of the month. Isn't that cute? This was an eBay find. I did not pay very much for it. 10, 12 bucks. And it came with everything. It came with all your flosses, your, a lot of floss actually. Your fabric, your instructions. This is good for travel. Once again, it's a small. This is by Filigram. This is magnificent. Called Robin's Wreath. It came with a pack of all the silk. It's beautiful. Reversible medallion optional. It's it's so pretty. And then this I remember getting on a stash unload. And uh, stitch count 115 by 116. And this is all dinky dyes. I mean, look at the colors. So I remember buying this because I saw all of that beautiful silk with it and said, wow, it's so beautiful that. This is by Bed Creek. I've seen they have a fin this finished at the cross stitch covered. It's beautiful. Tiny nativity. This picture does not do it justice at all. Uh, 
and I did buy the called for floss for it. I believe this was done at the cross stitch covered on paper and that was my idea to do it on paper. It, it's beautiful. It's a small, magnificent. I have an eclectic array of things here. This is by Needle Treasures. This is an old kit. I took the Ada out. <laughs> I took the Ada out. I was going to kit it up with some I was going to kit it up with some fabric, some linen. I don't know if I'm ever going to do this. The reason I don't know if I'm going to do this, and I think it's beautiful, it has to do with the back stitching. I just don't like back stitching. And there's lots in here, I believe. Maybe not. Too much for me. So this might be, I don't know, back burner, maybe, maybe not. What's nice about this is <laughs> it's got all the floss all the floss organized in a beautiful fashion. That's a back burner piece. Are we ever going to get to the end of this? We will. This I have uh, semi kitted up St. Lucy's Day by the Little Stitcher. Isn't it pretty? And I have all the floss for it. I don't have any fabric for it, but this can be done on any neutral fabric. So it's, it's very neutral. This was a recent purchase. Uh, this is called a Christmas Sampler by Eileen Bennett. Um, her, the items are not out of print. This was advertised as out of print, but it wasn't. And it is beautiful. Look at it. It's a beautiful sampler very reasonable very reasonably priced this came with did not come with the floss did not come with the floss but it, it came with this nice large excuse me this nice piece of of uh, linen that I could dye if I want to I don't know if I would do it on that color I sort of maybe am thinking a darker color that's beautiful this is by Blackberry Lane Designs. The cross stitch cupboard had a had a trunk show of this, and these are just beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? I saw this done, and it's mag it, it just was one of the prettiest finishes I've ever seen for Christmas. So I bought the chart. It is not for the faint of heart. It has. Do you know how many? colors this has. I mean, it has a ton of colors. It's just stunning when finished. So it is on the back burner and it isn't. It's just a, and it's not that big. I saw it done. They made it big because they did it on big fabric, but it's, it's beautiful. So this one's probably for this year, actually. I really want to finish this. It's, which means I have to buy floss for it or find floss for it. I will. Okay. Just a little, a little one out there. Frosty Night by Asia Gladstone. Cute little ornament chart I have. Very pretty. I'm gonna get to these after. I'm gonna do the kits first. All right. This is the complete 12 days of Christmas by the Primitive Hair. And there's no picture of the whole thing. They're just little, all you see are these. Okay, the complete 12 days of Christmas. I wish I had the picture of the whole thing. I don't know why. And this is in three parts. I don't know if I'm actually, let's see, we have three kings, we have die staff day. There's a lot of days I've never heard of here. Snow day, hog many, all kinds of different kinds of days. It's really quite a nice sampler. I have a piece of fabric pulled for this. 
and I don't know what it is. Let's see. This is Shakespeare's pe Peddler, Linen of the Month, Lakeside Tundra. It's vintage Tundra. There's no way this is vintage Tundra. It does not look like vintage Tundra unless, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I have this humongous piece of fabric. It's labeled Lakeside Linen. I don't know why I need such a big piece. I don't think that's that big, but, and it's 36 count for sure, or 40 count. It says Tundra, Lakeside Tundra. I'm gonna look it up, but I have no idea what this is. So, but I got it for this. I think it's, I'm not sure it's the right color, not sure. Um, I don't have, the floss taken for this. But this would make like a nice little, if I was to do it, it would be, you know, maybe, you know, one every few, once a week or something just to do a little square. I have this humongous piece of linen, but it's not that big. I'll tell you exactly how big this is. It says here, um, each, each one of the, well, is 65 by 65 stitches. So I guess if you add them all together, 65 by 65 stitches is probably about that big. You probably need half of that fabric. I don't know what I was thinking with that fabric, so I gotta find out. That's like a research piece. Let's put that up here. Oh. This is by a, a kit Nope, this is not Christmas. That goes out of here. <laughs> this is not Christmas. This is not Christmas. This is not Christmas. These don't belong in there. Okay. I thought there were only Christmas in here. Uh, this is by Victoria Sampler, The Christmas Village. I have this completely kitted up with the called for fabric and her floss packs. It's beautiful. There's nothing not to like about this. These floss packs are so pretty. I love the way that she puts these together. This is 28 count Smoky Pearl. Pretty, pretty, pretty linen. And I'd love to start this. I've had it a while, just the Christmas Village. I want to make sure you guys can see this, so I'll hold it up close. It's beautiful. Nothing not to like. I just love the, the little lacy effect it has. I love everything about this. This might be one to start. Put this in my start pile. This is just um, an ornament. 1998 Starry Night, uh, designed by Sandra Sullivan, Homespun Elegance. I saw this done. It was very pretty. I've seen these done. Ooh. A little windy outside. Just lost our electric for a minute. And I got a nice little piece of, uh, of matched up matched up linen and then just to show you I have a bunch of floss to do it with a small one day I'll do it a vacation piece a weekend going away piece I, lo I love bringing smalls when I go away it's not overwhelming this is by Nan Lewis Threadwork Primitives it's a complete kit called let it snow Isn't that pretty? Small, easy. This came with a uh, country redwood and a piece of, I don't know, pinkish linen. What linen is that? Country redwood and 32 count linen, it doesn't say. Pit brown, Dames of the Needle linen. There you go. I believe I got this on eBay. Came kitted up. I'm sure it's an original kit the way it was. A small, beautiful, simple. This one, I started and I stopped. This is by Bygone Stitches Quaker Christmas. 
I did a chunk of this. I hated it. I stopped. I just didn't like the way it looked. The linen was vintage light exemplar. It didn't do anything for me. I have a piece of linen in here. I believe I dyed this linen. And I think I'm going to do it on here. It's done only in two colors. One is Courant and the other is Blue Spruce. So this will be restarted. In fact, I meant to restart this. I was so mad. <laughs> That's going to be in my rotation. I'm going to do a rotation. That's what I'm going to do. This is Prairie Schooler and To All a Good Night on original cardboard. I don't like the new ones. These are the one of the old ones. Such a high quality cardstock. And I have this kitted up with DMC and a piece of linen, which I don't know what it is. Mystery linen. <laughs> so, do I have it written? Okay. This is, I recently kitted this one up, so beautiful, Calico, Confe Calico Confectionery uh, Oak Christmas Tree. It's fabulous, it's beautiful. I have all the DMC for it. I'm going to use DMC. I think it would be ridiculous to uh, convert this. It's just too many colors, and DMC primary colors are perfect. And I have this Petty Point Linen. It's going to look beautiful on here. It is. So, once again, A Christmas Tree by Calico Confectionery. It's not very big. It looks big, but it's not. It's 91 by 133. It's small. Um, this is going to be a start. i got to put this in my, let's start this pile. Let's see what else I have here. This one is another one by Calico Confectionery called All Is Calm, All Is Bright. Not very big. Not very big. I have these beautiful colors. Because it's so few colors, I actually did a conversion. This red, I'm into reds, is Louisiana Hot Sauce. And this is a great linen. It's called Sparkle. It's Belfast. Isn't it pretty? It's small, a small piece. I just love these, this printed linen, just to show you it real up close. It looks so bright in there, but it's not that bright. It's like an off-white. It's an awesome piece. I also wanted to do this one. This one is on the Let's Do chart. This is a really, really old kit. This is called The Holiday Sampler by Ramsgate Linen. Excuse me, Ramsgate Limited. It comes with some sort of, it comes with DMC floss and a piece of uh, raw linen. Here's your raw linen and your floss. And here it is. I know it looks a little dated, but I think it's real pretty. And I'm sure it's going to be very pretty when finished. Isn't that nice? I've had this one for a long time. It is, there's nothing wrong with it. It is so cute. It's just an older piece. This is Sandra Sullivan, Mama Snow, Sewing Carrots. I did this up a while ago. I think I was just going to make it into a, a wall piece. And I have this, a bunch of colors for it. A mixture of DMC. Sorry, I, didn't, I don't have it on a ring, but a mixture of DMC and overdyed. 
and I have a picture, and this is Weeks Dye Works Linen. I don't know which one. It's not a big piece of linen. It's not a big piece. It looks like it's big, but it's not. It needs to be ironed for sure before starting. Back burner. I don't know what I'm going to do that one. This is interesting. Um, this is Christmas printed cross stitch kit needles and hoops clearly not made anymore probably from the 70s god bless us everyone it's it's so pretty printed nothing wrong with printed can you see that look at all the stuff it comes with beads and so pretty. This looks pink in there, but it's red. Okay. A small. This is Winter Woods. By, I think Chessie and me. Who does this? I don't know. Before I give you the wrong designer. Why is... See, this annoys me when they don't put it on the front. Who the designer is. Winter Woods by Chessie and Mega. And it comes with all this cute stuff for finishing. Wool, even, floss. And here you go. A small, an ornament. Very, very, very pretty. What a great ornament. I think I'm going to keep this out because it's going to be an ornament. Um, this is by the Pin Keep, a friend love, a friend loves Prim, this was a Prim Sisters, uh, Prim Sisters club kit. What do you see what this comes with? Isn't that beautiful? Look. Isn't that luscious? My God. It comes with velvet and floss and beautiful linen. I don't know what linen this is, but just everything you need and beautiful fabric. All this finishing stuff. I mean, I'm going to take it all out. Right? To make this real pretty, I guess, wall hanging or something. It's beautiful. This is a recent a recent one. This is Merry Christmas by uh, Primitive Merry Christmas Pillow by Abbey Road Designs. I've seen many people do this. It's beautiful. And I have it with some Ship's Manor. These are some floss and Ship's Manor. Um, Ship's Manor Hare's House. I thought this was absolutely perfect for this. Look how pretty it is. I'm going to put the floss up against it. Look. Right? Unbelievable. Just beautiful. Okay. This is one I wanted to do very shortly as well. I'm going to keep that out. This uh, was Al Forest Embroidery. I showed this to you uh, recently. A beautiful Christmas sampler. And this was the one that I really bought. I, I This is driftwood. I put this together with uh, driftwood linen, which is a very pretty color. And it came with its own gloss. Drift, this driftwood is such a pretty color. It's, I wish I can really show it to you. This is also a small um, by Lilibel. This is out of print, Lilibet. And it came as a kit. It came with uh, all these silks. And a piece of fabric. Look how pretty. It even came with that little piece of uh, lace. This is one I want to do. I want to do this very badly. That one's 
staying out. Oh, Periwinkle Promises. I showed you that little pillow. An oldie but a goodie. This is real pretty. And this, this particular one came with uh, a piece of linen. I promise we're almost done. Hinsight Jack Frost. This came as a kit with this beautiful fabric. This is picture this plus. I don't know what color. My Hinsight also came with some charms. Another Hinsight I have kitted up. Chris Kringle. I have a DMC. An oldie but a goodie. This one is You and I Are Friends, Very Dear. This came completely kitted up, just like this. It's sealed with everything you need. It's a small. This is Moose. I bought this on Facebook, I don't know, by Twisted Threads. I have this one kitted up. I bought this kitted up from, I don't remember who, and I thought it came with the blue linen, but it came with a gray linen, which to me doesn't, is not gonna look right. Cause it's got gray floss and gray linen. So I don't know why it came that way, but I'll change out the linen. It's like a blue gray linen, but it needs that, see this nice blue linen, that'll be so pretty. I'm sure I have a scrap of blue linen somewhere. Oh, this is by Cottage Gardens All Hearts Come Home for Christmas. I've seen this. It's so pretty when it's done. Isn't that pretty? I've got this kitted up with water, water lily linen and the called for flosses. Cottage samplings. This is another Christmas Carol one. Is this the one I did? No. Another Christmas Carol by Hinsight. Just a companion piece to the one I did. Another small. I don't know if you could call this a, by the e-sampler, if you can call this a Christmas piece. It's a darning sampler, which I think is so adorable. But look at the middle. Doesn't that look like a Christmas bow? I put this in with my Christmas things. What a beautiful little sampler. This came completely kitted up. This is really, really old. Snow Babies by Victoria Sampler. I don't think I'm going to do this. I never was a fan of Snow Babies to begin with, but. To come with the floss pack and everything. I might, this might be a giveaway of some sort. I don't know. I'm going to think about what I'm going to do with that. I'm never going to do it. This is called a Christmas Sampler by Midsummer Night Designs. I always thought this was so pretty. Isn't that pretty? I have this completely kitted up. This I was going to do on, I don't know. This is... Some new port linen. Either it's going to look fabulous or it's going to look weird. I haven't decided if I'm going to do it on this. It might look fabulous on it, so I have that kitted up. This is also kitted up. This is Homespun Elegance Piece to One and All by Sandra Sullivan. Isn't that pretty? It's a beautiful, beautiful. Now this doesn't really have to be Christmas, but I loved it in with Christmas. I have it kitted up with some called for floss and a piece of linen. I don't know what linen this is. Aha! This is Old Mill Java, the old, old art art Old Mill Java, which is the called for linen, and it looks perfect for this. I remember having this dilemma finding linen in 
figuring out that I had a piece that was perfect and it happened to be the call for linen. And then just to show you, I have these two kits, which who knows I'm ever going to do. This one makes a little container, and this one makes this whole diorama. Lord knows, these don't even belong in my cross stitch, but they really are in there. Before I forget, I have two more finishes that I forgot to show you. Lord help me, I'll be right back. I have two more that I forgot to show you. This is by La Broderie. This is out of print. Um, this really isn't Christmas, but I'm gonna, I, I always thought it looked sort of Christmassy, but it's actually got Shakespeare on it. I don't know why. Not Christmas, but this one is. This is by uh, Sue Hillis, and it is Merry Christmas Noel Sampler done on natural linen with, I believe, Schoolhouse Red. This was expertly finished by Faye Rigsby. Isn't it fabulous? Just beautiful. I gotta clean this place up now. What a mess. Oh, have a great week. If you like the video, please comment below. Please uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, be a member of the Vintage Cross Stitch Niche group on Facebook. We have a lot of giveaways. We have ornament exchanges. You name it. I do highlight. I highlight uh, designers on there. It's just a lot of fun and we have very nice people. From my home to yours, have a great week. Be well. Bye-bye.